welcome to Lupara, just an hour's ride outside of Naples. Guys, we're here for a buffalo mozzarella tour. Let's go see the buffalo. Welcome to Lupara Dairy, where the famous buffalo mozzarella is made in the DOP region of Pastorino, also known as Caserta, Italy, which is located in the Campania region. And with almost 80 years of history, the Lupara Dairy has become the sector's reference point for buffalo mozzarella in the region. The dairy itself was built to produce mozzarella using only milk from their own buffaloes, pioneering the concept of a short and controlled supply chain, which guarantees the absolute quality of their production. Today, the Lupara Dairy is owned by the Lima brothers Giuseppe, Alfredo, and Caesar who continue their father's legacy in producing the exclusive mozzarella lupara using only the milk from their family's farms in the DOP breeding area. Yeah, the founder of this place based everything around happiness. Happiness of the people who are here, who live here, who work here, who, who come here. This part of the tour was very informative. They're very knowledgeable about what they're doing and how to take care of their buffalo. The particular way that they make their cheese is with rennet, and then they have a master culture that they dump in as well, so they get a familiar flavor. I thought it was very impressive that this entire operation happens under one umbrella. They grow everything they need for the buffalo, they provide the buffalo land, they milk the buffalo, they make the cheese all in-house. Once you place the rennet in the milk, you can see it start to solidify and we'll break that up and that'll make your curd. Then you'll need to heat your curd by adding boiling water. Overheating the curd and cooking all the fat out of it is something that you can do. So at this point, why don't we just go ahead and hand it back over to the third generation cheesemaker. With the, with the buffalo milk, he has only seconds to make it into mozzarella cheese. Lui ora toglie l'acqua in eccesso. Ora, as you can see, that's that. Can you see the paste? It, it goes. You see it? Bravo. Wow. Wow. Now look at how they're doing it. You see? And then you go to eat it. Look, one, two, three. I did The three count refers to the pinch points. They're pinching a ball off with their hands using three different points. If it were a machine, it would only have one pinch point. Do you want this? Don't look at that part. Ci a tavola assaggerete la treccia di bufala ma affumicata, smoke. Today you're going to taste this grade of mozzarella, but you're going to taste it smoked. Okay, thank you, mother. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Bravo. Bravo. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just one more thing for me to throw. Yeah. <laughs> a piece of purple. purple. Is it soft? Yeah, a little rough. And I really want to touch you so Do not touch the cow. I really Do want to touch, touch them. The this one really likes me a lot. Like <laughs> what he said. <laughs> one of the main pieces of information that we obtained during this visit was that the buffalo were happy, just like cows in California, which helped produce the best products. Of course, I squealed at the opportunity to feed the baby calf who had tiny nubbins on the top of her head. We also got to observe buffalo roaming around their pens before going off to be milked, and also several of them in their own water basins being showered by water sprinklers and enjoying themselves throughout the summer's heat. Let's go taste the buffalo. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of our tour here at Lupar. We hope you all enjoyed coming out with us to visit the buffalo themselves and seeing us make mozzarella. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, if you have someone that you know that's coming to Italy and would like to do this tour, we'll leave the links below in the description. See you next time.